it still kind of hits me every day that I'm doing astrophysics and you know I've got this degree in physics and maths and every day I'm I'm amazed with the universe and how cool it is and and not only that but the fact that I'm I'm able to learn about it and I'm able to research and find out more about it. Growing up I was very passionate about just a few things. Maths was definitely one of them. It was one of these things that uh, I was good at and you tend to like the things that you're good at. You know, it gave me confidence when I was going into the classroom. So I had you know, five aunties. My grandmother was a really strong figure in my life and still is today. She was, was probably one of my biggest motivators to do well in life. She always believed in me and she always told me that I could achieve anything I wanted to do. And you know, I thought, well, grandma knows. She knows what's what's right, what's up. So I may as well listen to her. Also, a really close family friend who would tutor me a lot. She was the only person I knew that had gone to uni. And so that was kind of someone that I could look up to. And you know, if she could go to uni, maybe I could go to uni. When I decided to go into physics and maths, it wasn't really because I was particularly inspired by anyone. It, it was kind of the opposite of that. It was because I, I didn't see any women in this space and I definitely didn't see um, many indigenous people in this space. So it was really more like, I know I'm capable of this. I want to do it. I'm going to do it to show that it can be done. It can be done by a female. It can be done by an indigenous person. And so it was really to prove a point. Science in general, observing and the scientific method is hugely a part of our culture. And more of this knowledge is coming back now and we're, you know, it's being spread widely and people are getting excited about it. Not only is that showing people that, oh, science is a part of my culture, but it gives, it gives us a sense of pride. It gives us a sense of, we can do this. I think it's so important to own your identity. And so for me, my identity is I'm Gamilaroi, I'm Aboriginal and I'm female. For me, that gives me strength in an environment where I'm, I'm a bit of an outsider. So how I deal with that is I'm unapologetically female and I'm unapologetically proud about my culture and my heritage. and. I guess in a way that gives me strength to be able to be in environments where, you know, it can be a bit isolating. I would love to see an Indigenous person, and of course a female, uh, get, a, get a Nobel Prize. I want that so much um, and I want lots of people to get it, lots of Indigenous people to get it. That's, I, yeah, I would love for that to happen.